Hello everybody, this is Dr. Biba Singh and welcome back to my show Rhythm of Healing. Today I have a very special guest. My guest is a board certified orthopedic surgeon and he's also the owner of a unique business franchise called Ortho Laser. And Dr. Wasik Ashraf does a, a lot of other things. So let's welcome Dr. Ashraf and learn all about him. Thank you again Hi, for Ashraf. thank you welcome. again for having me here today, and I'm really excited to be here today. And uh, we can talk about orthopedics as uh, different parts of orthopedics, body parts, and also talk about an opioid sparing way to help people with their pain management needs. That's awesome. You are an orthopedic surgeon, so for our audience, uh, orthopedic surgeon hunda kiye. I mean, like surgeon sari body the which. Orthopedic surgeon ki hunde ne, asi kende hain de doctors. So you're like a, a surgeon for the joints. The bones, bones yeah, yeah right? exactly. And you know, what we do is we cover all of orthopedics. It starts from the neck down. We mm -hmm. do the neck, the back, the hips, the shoulders, mm -hmm. small joints like the hands, big joints like the hip. And you know, it covers not just surgery. Mm -hmm. um, and also a big part of what we do is non-surgical and that is really the big thing that as an orthopedic surgeon we like to talk to our patients about. So tell us about it like what kind of first of all like what kind of issues do people come to you for so you know so we can tell our audience like because a lot of people don't even know right like sure. oh my shoulders hurting my knees hurting who do I go to sure. so uh, ek orthopedic surgeon kaun janda hai orthopedic surgeon they call like why would I come to you sure so tell a us what and you know the most common reason why people come and visit an orthopedic surgeon is pain and what pain leads to in any body part shoulder knees hip and what that leads to is you know uh, someone they can't do the things they want to do the way they want want to do it and how they want to do it. The most common time, um, the reason people come in is they can't sleep. For a shoulder, for example, my shoulder hurts and I can't sleep anymore, I have to see someone. Uh -huh. It's when it stops them from doing the activities that they normally do. Okay. Also, like uh, I told you earlier, knees. Like sure. a lot of people will, like my mom complains of her knee all the time. Knee dard hondiya, knee dard hondiya, and minu bada dard lagda hai, replacement nahi karani. Right. But uh, you do that. Yeah, I do. I do a lot of knee replacements. And there's several reasons why we do a knee replacement. And the last reason to do a knee replacement is when non surgical ways okay. fail. So there are other ways to treat. I mean, it's not necessary that surgery. Right. You do a lot of other things. So like agar dard ho rahi hai, shoulder, back, uh, knees, wherever, you treat it yeah. other ways. Absolutely. And the ways we treat, uh, say for example, knee arthritis, we will talk about physical therapy. And there's different types of injections mm -hmm. like cortisone. There's mm -hmm. a thing called a gel injection. It's kind of like a WD-40 for a hinge that's a little rusty. Uh, we talk about bracing. So you're going to have to slow down for our audience. A hinge that's rusty. So, Eki get in it because our audience, a lot of people sure. here are not medical, right? And even I would be like, hmm. So, a hinge that's not rusty. So, agar darwaza, uh, like, creak kar rea, right. haddiya, halki, like, they're making noise. The so, haddiyo ke liye, you can actually put in, like, gel. Gel. Yeah, and it's gel, and it's similar to, it's a gel called hyaluronic acid, and what it is, it's a natural lubricant. It's like a WD-40. Like it's oil a for your car. It's an oil change, and I have patients that come in, and they say, hey, I'm ready for my oil change, doc, and uh, we do the oil change, and every couple of months they come in, and uh, they see relief from wow. those injections. so what do you do it for? Shoulders, knees, uh, wrists? So, so like currently, where? the gel injections only FDA approved for the knee. Okay. Um, can it be done in other body parts absolutely mm -hmm. uh, but currently it's mostly just for the knee okay. ar arthritis okay and the other thing uh, you were telling me is you can take fat from different places in your body and inject it. So right. tell us about that. That's oh, really interesting. That, that's a lot of fun. You know, one of the newer um, cool things about orthopedics is technology is always changing. And what's changing in orthopedics is um, a, an idea called regenerative medicine. How do we help your body regenerate and kind of avoid surgery? And the way we do that is we take 
fat, which we all all have. Everybody has fat. A little somewhere. bit of extra. I have patients <laughs> that say, take a little bit more here, take a little bit more there. And we take this fat in the office and it has stem cells. And what stem cells are, are cells that uh, uh, can help decrease inflammation in the body and decrease uh, pain. And then we take that fat and take out the oils, and we wash it with saline, then we inject that fat, say, into a knee. And what that does is it provides lubrication, it provides a uh, little elasticity so it doesn't rub wow. as much, and decreases pain and swelling. That is really interesting. So, I mean, and what about like shoulders? Because I know you talked about shoulders too. Right. Um, people who have like, you know, constant shoulder pain, a lot of rotator cuff, sure. you know, things. Like I hear a lot about that too. Very, very common. And, you know, in, in, our, in our Desi community where I see a lot of issues with shoulder has actually tied into a thing called diabetes. When oh. patients have diabetes that say uncontrolled or a thyroid that's a little high, uh, too acting too much high or too low, they get a thing called frozen shoulder syndrome. Syndrome. Really? And frozen shoulder syndrome is very painful. And by the time they really do come to see me, it's we've kind of missed the chance of getting to it early. Oh. So that's something that's very, you know, as an orthopedic surgeon, I wish patients would come see me earlier. So frozen can, shoulder ke liye treatment? Ke? Like, how do you treat frozen shoulder? Uh, early physical therapy, cortisone in injections mm -hmm. into the shoulder. And the biggest thing is education, just talking about what it is. I think a lot of times just knowing about what, why are you in pain, what can we do, and having a prognosis or talk about the timeline helps a lot, both mentally and physically. Right, because people think like, I'm going to get go to the doctor and he's gonna fix it now. Right. But sometimes things take time to get better. Oh, right? absolutely, and you know, as a, uh, you know, you know it, it, yes, and one of the reasons why I even went into orthopedics mm -hmm. was because of that feeling of helping people right. deal with pain and kind of get back to the things that they want to do. So Dr. Ashraf, uh, tell us, to see surgeon kyo bane, because as a doctor, as a psychiatrist, I know like we did 13, 13 saal school day, like, you know, three or four, three years, well, we did an under yeah. sp a specialized program, but usually four years of college, four right. years of medical school, and at least four to five years of residency. But surgery and orthopedic surgery is even longer. Right. So, this is a lot of study, 18 saal, 15 saal study, kitti, like 15 uh, years of studies probably. Yeah, and you know, the time just goes by so quickly. But yes, so four years of medical school, and then in the middle of medical school is when I realized I wanted to go into orthopedics. Um, Initially, I, wa I wanted to be an emergency medicine doctor, and I remember doing my first knee replacement as a student, and I fell in love. And so wow. it's five years of residency where you do really intense mm -hmm. there, um, right. uh, surgery residency. Yeah. And then I did a sports medicine fellowship wow. where I specialized in rotator cuff, uh, anterior cruciate ligament, or which is a knee injury ligament that can tear, mm -hmm. um, and really into sports medicine. That is so cool. So do you work closely with PM&R? Like I do. Like, yeah. yeah, absolutely. You know, me, you know, the, the, the team that we have mm -hmm. is there's a whole team behind me that kind of keeps helps the patients keep moving. We have a great group of physical therapists, occupational therapists, uh, physiatrists, PM&R, non-surgical orthopedists or non-op family medicine physicians who are specialized in mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, sports medicine. And we all work together uh, to cover different high That's schools. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, so interesting. So how you you decided like this was just a calling you wanted to do it yeah and you know I think I love what I do I really enjoy going to work and the biggest thing that I love as a physician of course is helping patients but my interaction with patients is what really helps me um, mm -hmm. kind of keep going uh, yeah. in medicine so like you're such a young successful uh, awesome. doctor it's really bought the tell you're oh, here thank, thank, thank um, the other thing I wanted to tell you ask you about is you started a business recently yes or the laser yes that's really amazing so tell us about it what is that sure you know I think the reason why we came up with the ortho laser is really a problem that we saw not in just the United States but kind of worldwide it's happening in every country really it's an opioid oh um, my god so yeah. opioid crisis is huge sure so basically opioids is like Joe drugs Nasha um, heroin Percocet Vicodin pain pills 
शूटिंग अप और एक्चुअली बिलीव इट और नॉट साढ़े अपने इंडिया विच है बहुत प्रॉब्लम है ह्यूज इन इंडिया इंडिया विच बहुत ड्रग्स दी प्रॉब्लम हो गई है और वो नशा लोग क्यों शुरू कर देने काफी वजह है पेन करके दर्द हो रही है किधरे you know shuru kar dene yeah. and then all of a sudden addiction ho jati hai yeah and it's very easy and we're seeing this on younger younger patients someone who just had a dental procedure wow. they received a few percocets or they had a knee injury that small surgery and now they're hooked on these things and so as orthopedic surgeons you know we cause a lot of pain you know when we do surgery right. and so we were part of the problem and a group of us all board certified orthopedic surgeons can i came up with an idea of how can we be part of the solution and that's how ortho laser came to life very nice so what do you guys do like uh you know how how does it how help? does it work um, yeah what is it so, i mean i don't know yeah honestly. no that, that's great no, no, um, no so idea. so basically it's a laser it's it's uh, uh it has a, a red light and the red light it doesn't look like it's doing much but it's actually penetrating the skin uh or goes past the skin into the joints by about 5 cm and what it really does is it decreases inflammation and really at the end of the day if you could decrease inflammation you could decrease pain right. and you can help people be mobile. So how does it work? Do you have to have one session, few sessions, like um how long does it take? Like tell us a little bit more. So there's two ways there's a thing called chronic pain, say from someone who's suffering from arthritis pain for several several months. And then there's an acute pain, say someone broke their wrist but from a fall. Right. If it's something that's more acute or something that just happened, you need six sessions and each session's only 12 minutes long. Oh. And if okay. it's something chronic, you need a few more, like a tennis elbow. Some who's playing a lot of tennis that's chronic and so you need about 10 sessions what about back pain lower back pain Huge. you know it's so big so they sub log bed they ne desks de utte kaam karde ne lower back pain dard hundi hai like tell us about Oh, How? lower back pain is one of the one of the hardest things to treat because it's really um, multi a lot of things that have to kind of go into it. But laser can absolutely help with lower back pain. But I think more than anything, it's just staying, uh, keep moving, doing some stretches in the morning, mm -hmm. and the laser can absolutely help in a non-surgical way with no pain, no complications, help with pain in the back. So how? does laser help like what other things can people do for their lower back pain as an orthopedic surgeon people sure. must ask you this every day all, all the time so agar sade viewers nu pain ho rahi hai dard ho rahi hai pitch vich back vich ki kar sakte hain so uh, i think the biggest thing to do is do some home exercises work on some stretches of the stomach and the back i think that is key and if that doesn't work physical therapy bracing and there's also injections that we could do and then if you're having things like numbness and tingling into the fingers toes you really need to get an mri mm -hmm. before we can uh really find out why you're having this back pain interesting and if you have agar matlab back pain um laser ਅਸੀਂ ਲੇਜ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਲੇਜ਼ਰ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਐਨ ਓਪੀਓਇਡ ਲੇਜ਼ਰ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਅਡਿਕਟਿਵ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਇਫ ਸਮਵਨ ਇਜ਼ ਅਡਿਕਟਿਡ ਟੂ ਡਰਗਸ ਔਰ ਔਰ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਓਪੀਓਇਡਸ ਔਰ ਓਵਰ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਓਪੀਓਇਡਸ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਔਰ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਆਰਥੋਪੀਡਿਕ ਸਰਜਨ ਹੈਲਪ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਜ਼ੀਸ਼ਨ ਥੈਮ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਸਾਈਕਾਇਟ੍ਰਿਸਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਸਬਾਕਸੋਨ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਬਟ ਸਮਵਨ ਹੂਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਅਸ਼ਰਫ ਆਈ ਨੀਡ ਮਾਈ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਟਸ ਹਰਟਿੰਗ ਆਮ ਆਈ ਨੀਡ ਮੋਰ ਆਈ ਨੀਡ ਮੋਰ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਹੈਂਡ ਹੋਟ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਯੂ ਮਸਟ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਯਾ ਐਬਸੋਲੂਟਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਦ ਬਿਗੇਸਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਇਜ਼ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਟੀਮ ਅਪਰੋਚ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਐਜ਼ ਐਨ ਆਰਥੋਪੀਡਿਸਟ ਆਮ ਟੀਮਡ ਅਪ ਵਿਥ ਅ ਅ ਸਾਈਕਾਇਟ੍ਰਿਸਟ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨ ਦ ਏਰੀਆ ਵੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਫਿਜ਼ਾਇਟ੍ਰਿਸਟ ਇਨ ਦ ਏਰੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਪੇਨ ਮੈਨੇਜਮੈਂਟ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਆਫਿਸ ਐਸ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲਾਈਜ਼ਸ ਇਨ ਡੀਲਿੰਗ ਵਿਥ ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟਸ ਥੈਟ ਆਰ ਇਨ ਕ੍ਰੋਨਿਕ ਯੂਸ ਆਫ ਓਪੀਓਇਡਸ ਫੋਰ ਥੇਅਰ ਸੈਵਰਲ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ ਪੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਰੈਜਿਮੈਂਟਸ ਸਚ ਐਸ ਸਬਾਕਸੋਨ ਐਸ ਵਨ ਐਸ ਯੂ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਥੇਅਰ ਪੇਨ ਕੰਟਰੈਕਟਸ ਥੇ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਵੇਅਰ ਥੇ ਵਿਨ ਥੈਮਸੈਲਵਸ ਆਫ ਥੇ ਪੇਨ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਮੋਰ ਆਫਟਰ ਅ ਕੁਇਕ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ Welcome back to Rhythm of Healing. This is Dr. Biba Singh and I am having a very very interesting conversation. Aaj sade guest hai gene orthopedic surgeon Dr. Wasik Ashraf. Welcome back and uh, Dr. Ashraf, you are a wealth of information. Uh we spoke a lot about ekar de kine haddiyan de doctor surgeon matlab bahut kuch karde ne but asi ki gal kar rahe si ke um we were spe
back, hips, knees. Um, but also you started a business, Ortho Laser, that helps reduce inflammation. So just swelling on the katan was the body which and now colic special uh, laser system hai. Our, I wanna know a mess on COVID which we help cardia. So for people fighting coronavirus, sure. how does this laser help? Oh this is something uh, that's definitely new. We have to find different new ways to help with COVID, to help with inflammation. As COVID is new for all of us. All of us. And you know, uh, what we have found is in Italy and Brazil, they use laser to decrease inflammation in the lung. There are other types of lung inflammation diseases, mm -hmm. such as pulmonary fibrosis and uh, uh, inflammatory lung disease. And so we thought, why can't we take this laser mm -hmm. and apply it to patients um, as they're laying down on their stomach, like in a prone position, okay. and see if it'll help their oxygen for breathing. Oh, wow. And so, so we had them lay down and we lasered their lungs and what we found is their oxygenation improved. No way. Yeah. And so you did it in the hospital or the outpatient? Hosp in hospital really? setting, yeah. So ICU? Uh, non-ICU patients. Non -ICU. These are non-intubated. That means n nothing down their right. mouth. So these are patients who are just having difficulty breathing Correct. or getting to that point where they're uncomfortable. Yeah. Wow. And so we worked with our pulmonologist. We uh, used pulmonary, uh, our lung doctors, uh, their uh, parameters and their studies. I and, like uh, lung doctor. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 you know, and that it helped. And we published our study uh, about a month ago. And we have another study coming out with uh, 20 patients. And again, the idea is this is a laser that decreases inflammation and decreasing inflammation is hard um, say a patient someone or a family member is a diabetic they can't take steroids because their blood sugar would go right. up or they can't get a cortisone injection which will raise the blood sugar you also want to give them like an anti-inflammatory like a leave mm. but mm. then their blood pressure may go up so this provides another alternative without any side effects Wow that is really interesting. And you also were mentioning um, sports. So you do a lot of sports medicine. So explain exactly. to us what kind of things you deal with Sure. You know. you know, the first thing is what is sports medicine? And you know, at the end of the day, what sports medicine is, is uh, 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 for me, is a kid and a parent that that want to learn about how they can maximize in any sport that they're playing. Yes, like cricket, basketball. A anything, <laughs> yeah. Football. It, it, badminton. Ba oh, yeah, really? It's, badminton too? It, tennis? Tennis is a huge thing. People come in with tennis elbow all the time. Wow. So, so with sports medicine, as a sports junkie myself, I'm a huge basketball fan. Wait, you are? Yeah, huge. So is Rinku. My really? What well, is your favorite? Uh, Houston Rockets. We just lost to the Lakers today. And he's probably a Lakers fan. He loves Lakers. Uh, Lakers. Lakers, everything Lakers. He sure. even taught my kids like go Lakers. Go Lakers. Oh man, Colorado. my Rockets, my Rockets lost. It's very oh, no. difficult. But you know, that's um, so funny. Yeah, is he a huge basketball? That huge basketball. Uh, oh, I, you guys need to. Uh, I think basketball is uh, it's a great team sport, and the same way with sports medicine is there's a team with team with the athletic trainer as an orthopedist. We help these young athletes. Stay keep doing what they love to do mm -hmm. uh, because uh, there's a lot of pressure on young athletes. Yeah. Um, they want to perform, they play the same sports year round as opposed to when I was a kid, you played baseball, you know, right. basketball, um, volleyball, you played different sports, you right. never overused anything. Yeah. So like, what injuries do you see the most for uh, sports? Sure, you know, uh, right now, the most common, common injury that we see are ankle sprains. Oh. Um, and ankle sprains, it, it, it's very, it sounds like, oh, it's just, just an ankle sprain, but it could be so much more. It could be from playing on grass, but they also have artificial grass, which is called turf, oh. and which can increase ankle sprains even more. Wow. Um, and we have seen a lot of ankle sprains since COVID, actually. Really? Yeah. Why is that? So a lot of patients or a lot of people want to move out of the city and they want to come up where we are, which is about an hour north, and start hiking. Oh. And they're not used to hiking, and so they go up. They're not ready, and the Our rocks. Sneakers take me. But so, do you recommend certain things for people like? Um, 
Uh, prevent? Oh, abs absolutely. I think the most important thing is preventative medicine. And preventative orthopedics is really, um, you know, multiple factors. But if I had to list the top three is a proper warm-up, a proper stretch. Oh. To really take a couple of minutes and just stretch all your muscles, your back, your hamstring. So your just like, just get up, stretch, like, you yeah. know, just, just watch. Do you have any recommendations of how YouTube it or? Yeah, you know, they have uh, different body parts. They have... Uh, 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 on YouTube like a five-minute warm-up which is really a, all you need is five minutes just to warm up for your day mm -hmm. it's uh, it's one of the best things we could do for preventative mm -hmm. uh, orthopedics uh, number two would be a really a nice balanced diet you know oh, something exercise. exercise and diet I think are, are the most important yes. low carb um, and a balanced diet more than just protein all the time so I guess um like both log complain hadiyan di dardan di bare complain karte ne so par katan nal weight katan nal dard bhi kam hondi hai so you're saying like if you lose weight knee pain joint pain can be decreased oh absolutely and mm -hmm. you know they looked at studies to say that every pound that you lose it's actually 6 pounds from your knees what and and so and especially with stairs that even doubles so as you go up and down stairs your pain will be less if you lose the weight really so knee like 6 pounds 6 pounds and, and that's something we talk about with patients all the time. And that's something that I think is important to talk to everyone is that surgery is not the first step, it's the last step. And you know, if someone comes in and they say, hey, listen, I'm a little overweight, I'm not ready for surgery, can we try something? Mm -hmm. We have different tools that we could use mm -hmm. um, to help you lose the weight so you could really succeed after your surgery. Mm -hmm. So if a patient, like Sade viewers, Joe Adsun Rene, like they have joint problems, pain problems, like where do they start? Should they go to their primary care and ask Kim an orthopedic surgeon Deknae? Or do they just directly Google an, or an orthopedic surgeon in their area? Do you need refer like how does it work? Sure. I think the best way to really start um your journey and finding out what's going on with the joint. It's going to your primary. Okay. I, I'm a big believer in that. In that, you have someone you you, you mm -hmm. have an established relationship mm -hmm. with. Get an X-ray. See mm -hmm. what the joint looks like. Mm -hmm. They'll usually start you on some anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. physical therapy. Okay. And if all that doesn't work, then next step would be an orthopedic surgeon. Wow. So. so what is your life like? I mean, you must work a lot. What are your hours? Uh, like, tell us a little bit about Dr. Sure. Masik Ashraf, the person. Sure. So, um, you know, I uh, it is a lot of work. I you know yeah, orthopedics. We see. Um, a lot of patients throughout the day from different part, different body parts, but it really is surgery about twice a week and seeing patients about three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, I operate. Uh, but besides that, I think what I really, really truly enjoy uh, is family and you know friends, you know? Yeah. Um, I think that's really socializing. what- Socializing. Socializing, family and yes. friends, having the time to uh, spend with my son, my wife, uh, my parents back in Long Island, it's really, uh, that's so a lot lovely. of fun. So where in Long Island is your family? Uh, they're out in New Hyde Park. Okay. Um, so right which is not far. Hundred percent. So a core girl, um junior C, uh, <laughs> same medical school which and college which in Long Island, right? Right, so exactly. You were my junior there. Junior, uh, I know. and we, we didn't meet it. I meet won't ask how many years junior. Yeah, because we, we, we I won't talk. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we had a great I just experience. A few grades, you know. Yeah, you were ahead. <laughs> you moved, and uh, you know we grew up here. I went uh, grew up in. Queens, went to high school in the Bronx, and so it's nice to be back in the city. So, I mean, what's very nice is you're giving back to our community also. Yeah. Um, like, you know, how you, like I said before, even, like, it's nice to meet, you know, doctors in our generation. Jo, like, asi log, tade sab viewers kinne sade dekh rene, jo adults ne, bazurg ne, elderly, like people that we are now giving back and helping, you know? Oh, absolutely, and, and I see that when I have uh, patients that are coming in from my background, Daisy background, I yeah. feel like I'm talking to my parents, my uncles, my right. aunts, and so I, I, the advice I give, or I want to give, is the same advice I'd give to my parents. It's, it's so it feels good to be able to give back um, in, in, in that sense. Yeah, 
And so, um, what what else do you like to do for fun? Do you like to work out? Do you like to travel? Like, oh, tra traveling! Tell us about traveling is great. Um, and, and you know, one of the things that I really enjoy now um, is research, and that's research? something that wow, we you're really. A nerd. We're, I know. I can't help it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the research we're working on is different types of materials that we use for the joint replacements. Wow. So you know, people ask me all the time. You know, is it metal, plastic, ceramic? And uh, it really is a, a fun thing to be involved with. That is really cool. Yeah. Wow. Dr. Wasik Ashraf, you are an amazing person. Thank and you so not much. like knowledge or not um uh, Thank you so much um, for being here today. We're really honored to have you as our guest. And, you know, I'm sure we're going to have you back one day because there's so many things we want to learn about. And if you guys are looking for any kind of treatment, orthopedic surgery, ortho laser, right. um, we'll put all the information on our episodes so our viewers can. And where can they follow you? If, oh, is so, there a website? Uh, or? Yeah, we have a, a ortho laser in Newburgh, New York, which is about an hour north of here. And also on Crystal Run Healthcare. Yeah. Crystal Run Healthcare. I like Crystal Run a lot because I get my one-stop shop. So Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Thank so you thank again. you again. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, everybody. Take care. Bye.